So, have you ever been around when a royal person or some other important person has come to town? Hands up who's been in a royal procession at any point or uh, when a VIP has been visiting. Ooh, not many. Okay. I have very vivid memories of when um, the Queen came to Ipswich during her Silver Jubilee year. So this was 1977. Um, I was a little punk at the time of uh, 11 or 12 years old. And um, I vividly remember uh, this, this beautiful limo sweeping through the town centre. And of course, you only catch a glimpse of her for a few seconds. She was in very bright yellow, I remember. And uh, there was the customary wave as she swept past. When a royal or a, a very important person comes to town, all kinds of preparations are made, aren't they? Uh, litter is picked, uh, graffiti is painted over, all kinds of flags and bunting go up, and of course, a route is very carefully planned and prepared. If all of these things happen when a royal or a VA, VIP come to town, how much more needs to happen when the king of kings is coming to town? And this was the job of John the Baptist. He was to make the necessary preparations for Jesus, the true king, to come to his people. And yes, John talked about the importance of preparing a route for Jesus to come to his people. He proclaimed, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. Only the route or, or the paths that John had in mind were not literal, but spiritual. And there were three things around this preparation that John was saying to the crowd in our gospel reading. First of all, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. He said to the crowd, anyone who has two shirts should share with the one who has none. And anyone who has food should do the same. Love your neighbor. Show compassion to those who are less well off. Secondly, be honest. He says to the tax collectors, don't collect any more than you are required to. And he says to the soldiers, don't extort money and don't accuse people falsely. Be honest. Have a good relationship with the truth. Thirdly, avoid greed. Again to the soldiers, he says, be content with your pay. Avoid greed. Today, we continue to find ourselves in the season of Advent. This is a season of preparation as Christmas draws near. And it's a season where we are all invited to take a fresh, hard look at our lives. So thinking of those three things that John said to the crowds, how much do I love my neighbor? How much do I show compassion to those in need? Secondly, how truthful and honest am I, actually? Later on, Jesus made a very special promise. He said, the truth will set you free. How much do I live in that freedom? Or do I get by by telling far too many white lies and half-truths. Thirdly, greed. What does my lifestyle say to others and to God? Does it say greed? Or does it say contentment? Because seemingly, it's one or the other. What does my Christmas list suggest? Greed? or contentment. And that's for the grown-ups as well as the children. 
As COP26 recently reminded us, the difference between each and every one of us being greedy or content will have a real effect on our planet's future. So important questions to ponder. And as John also reminded his audience, saying that we are children of Abraham, children of God, people of faith, is not enough. What Jesus requires is the fruit of repentance, i.e. something that makes a difference to the world. A life that makes the world tastier and more colourful, something that nurtures the people around us. And all of these things apply not just to Advent, but particularly to our baptism service this morning. Today, we are asking God to come in special ways into Sebi's life and into all of our lives as we witness his baptism. But again, if we don't prepare the way, if we are not preparing the way by committing ourselves to more compassion and more honesty and more contentment in our lives, well, sadly, all the promises that are made today will prove to have been made in vain. This is something for all of us to think about today. Saying that we are children of God is one thing. But being children of God is quite another. Amen.